do you want to do this? Yeah, Scott. <laughs> Don't you do look you, at me in that tone of voice. Do you want to leave? <laughs> funny. Do you want to leave, like, shoot, your team out here? Yeah. And do the other one right there? Yeah. So then we're, huh? Two well, there's, there's a long hallway. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. two sections. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Go all the way back, second team, all the way back through that. Leave that center section open so we're not competing yeah. with each other. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah? So Doc Paul's squad in Columbus that way. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. And then Scott's side here. Cool. Thanks. Where's your sister? Uh, Are they here? Yeah. Is Kelly Harmon and them here? What? Yeah, they're right here. Kelly Harmon? I don't know where Kelly Harmon's at. This is the beauty of this industry too. A lot of people like to disappear. because I'll cry. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that about another guy up on stage. That was cool, dude. Seriously, you know, meant a lot. Did you guys learn anything? Oh, who, cri who cried more than five times today? <laughs> right? Who cried more than ten? Testify. I did. Right? She'll just start crying like this. Go. <laughs> she can cry. <laughs> Jordan said that if Leah and I were in a room together and somebody oh, told a sad yes. story, we could make a puddle in a pond. There was a puddle when I stood up. There was. Just feel different? Yeah. How your emotions can stop just like that, right? How do you take it home? I've learned this so many times. I remember my first event, I was, I was so amped up. It didn't even take two hours out of the parking lot. Life sucked, you know? It did. Total, you know, just the world controlling my mind and thinking about the air mattress and all these things I say are real, you know. And it's like, how can we help people, help, you know, help each other, go from here and take it all the way home? How do you possibly take that energy home? Well, use each other. I know he always makes me feel good. Stuart laughs at me if I even think about starting to pout, right? So you can call on these people, right, whenever you need them. But think about the magazine. That's my favorite, you know? And the beauty of it is what Blake said is, I don't care that I'm in it. Because I feel that I'm in it anyways, it's you guys, right? And it's like we're in this magazine, they'll do it again if we make a big enough splash. So we have some here from Columbus, some from Zanesville, some from Toledo. The 29th at Sushi Rock, this is a free event. Do you guys see these poster thing things out in the hallway? I didn't notice until someone told me that, right? <laughs> that, that, has like, that has like our pictures and stuff on them. Did you see those? They're like really tall. We're going to have those at Sushi Rock, but the magazine size one's on the stage. So you do invite everybody that wants to meet the most famous doctor in the Columbus Zanesville area because this guy just doesn't deliver babies. He makes another hundred grand a year helping people, right? So that's how, that's how you don't have to really sell this stuff. Whether Doc Weirum's on your team or not, or you're from Columbus, it doesn't really matter. Tell him. You meet a doctor tomorrow at the airport, tell him. Right? My only point is, we can treat it like a challenge party and wait till the last minute and invite people and think it's going to be great. It's not. Or is everybody in here going to Sushi Rock on the 29th? So if everybody brings three people, how many is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Good answer. Because I just turned to her and said Wait, call, count. Call Jason. Yeah, we're going to count. Jason will figure it out. Numbers, man. I know there's 48 little bulbs on that light. Um, just think of the power behind it. I know when Brian Belleville, I don't know if you guys caught that, but when he was on stage, he was talking about his company that he used to work with really got into this magazine. And he said his income tripled in like two months. 
just because of the magazine, because this is the way people are. Right? This is more exposure now, too. Right? You can look at anybody, and this is called the pyramid thing, by the way, is what we're calling it. <laughs> yeah. Hit them right where it hurts. Sounds like a pyramid thing. What is it? I don't know. We'll go to this and you'll find out. We're just going to expose our lives and let them see the real deal of who we are, what we stand for, things that happen. And if you guys are down with it, we're just going to keep it rolling. Because as, as new leaders are born, like PDs and NDs and NDs and an ambassador, think about watching the growth of that, right? And think about more of them popping up. Well, the show's going to have to go on as more leaders are born. So people are going to get to see us change, see you guys change. So, if you don't do shit, <laughs> no, we, we already talked about that. We counted that word. Um, you'll see it yourself. I'll never yell at you. You know that. We'll never yell at each other. <laughs> Boom. get you guys together after this is to tell you we love you and let's rock and roll. Oh, I just stole my wine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta step up and get in here. I'm starting to lose my voice. I wanted to say to my team that's here, not, you know, you guys know what's going on. Anyway, <laughs> get the light on my face. <laughs> nope. Um, I love each and every one of you and each and every one of you is working very hard and if you want to work and stay at RD and you're happy there I will help you stay there I will help you move up I'm, I'm your I work for you so my line so I work for you okay and I'm proud of all of you that are here and it means a lot to me that you are here okay I've been an emotional wreck all day <laughs> But I will be much better tonight after a couple drinks. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we will film that after a couple drinks. 